Good morning. My name is Yossi Gistetner. I'm co-founder of the Orthodox Jewish Public Affairs Council, OJPAC. Um, behind me this morning, we have the children of Joseph Newman, who is still in the hospital. Um, this is the home of his youngest daughter, Nikki. He's going to speak in a moment. I just want to just want to express to you how grateful I am on my behalf um, that the press, the media, reporters, journalists who throughout the year you take a lot of flack, uh, bias and stuff, and why doesn't the media cover this or that? You guys have shown up for this community throughout the week. You've been available, and I think by all of you being here in, in the morning, in the evening, at night, keep keeping the focus on the story is what keeps the pressure on federal, state, and local government to, to step up and to make sure that, in, that this story doesn't finish by having patrols for 12 hours and then the story is done. There needs to be structural change about things and the world needs to feel and see and hear the, the pain of the family and, and here they are. Hi, good morning, everybody. My name is Nikki Cohen, N-I-C-K-Y-K-O-H-E-N. I am Joseph Newman's youngest daughter. These are my siblings and my husband and my daughter behind me. Um, we're here to give you an update regarding his injuries and his status. Um, the prognosis is not good. He sustained multiple inju injuries. Um, he has a fractured skull. He's been sliced like through his neck. Um, he has a shattered arm. And the other ones just seem minor already compared to all of this. Um, the doctors do not have high hopes for him. He may never be, I mean, if he wakes up, he may never be able to walk, talk, or even process speech again. He is currently in surgery to get a trach um, to help with his breathing and feeding. Um, that's what's going on right now. We do ask everybody to keep him in his prayers, in your prayers, excuse me. I do want to focus on that as a family, we all believe that God has a plan and we guess he's a, a big part of it to hope to make a big call for change and all types of hatred against any race, religion, orientation, anything else that anybody can think of just has to stop. Guys, I'm begging you, if you are watching this, please stand up and stop this hatred. It cannot keep going on. We want our kids to go to school and feel safe. We want to go to our synagogues and feel safe. We want to go to groceries and malls and feel safe. I'm sure you can all agree with me on that part. Um, I want to focus also another point that you may think you just hurt one lone Hasidic community, but as you can see behind me, I mean, most of us are here, that no two of us are really look alike, but we were all loved by my father. We are all loved by him the same. So if he can love everybody and anybody who's met him will tell you they have a story to tell about Joseph Newman. He's made everybody feel something important, special, if my father can do that, I'm begging you all, please, you can do that too. I want to acknowledge as well the additional victims of this heinous crime. Um, and I want to acknowledge even people who just, who were there because the fear, the trauma is just ongoing. Again, we ask that you please 
keep our father Yehosef in peril in your prayers and we hope he wakes to a changed world with peace, unity and love for all. Again, if you are watching this, please let's stand up together and stop the hatred. Thank you. At this at this time and since he has been admitted, he has been unconscious the whole entire time. Is it a medically induced No, it is not. Okay. And his age and how many siblings are there? Well, he is 72. Seven. We're seven siblings in total. We may not all be here at the moment. I actually want to ask you guys something. If we can take the focus off of him and only focus on the victims and the change that is needed because people are looking for the glory and the fame and we do not want copycats. We do not want anybody else to think they could go out and be on TV or have any type of publicity this way. Favorite. We were supposed to have a gathering. Oh yeah. Sunday. We were just supposed to have a gathering for him with, for our Hanukkah celebrations. Unfortunately, obviously, that did not happen. Um, his birthday was. His birthday. Yeah, his birthday was just this week on the thirtieth. Um, favorite memory. Oy, so many different ones. Um, he would stop on the road. He's a people person. He likes people. He likes to talk to people. He likes to get to know people. He would stop for people and help them, no matter what they looked like. Um, uh, well, growing up, well, when I was growing up, he had a fish store here in Rockland County. Um, and we would actually used to deliver a lot of fish, and we would go to the fish market with him, like, early in the morning, like, 3 a.m. <laughs> Um, spend some quality time with him and um, actually one time as we were driving back from the fish um, market um, there was a guy stopped at the side of the road um, um, and my father saw that he needed help my father got out the guy needed help he was just there he even drove him to his house for some reason I think if I recall correctly I was really young he needed to get him to his ex-wife's house so that he wouldn't lose custody of his children or something like that. So just an all-around fabulous guy. I mean, anybody who has met him will have a story to tell you that he's a good guy. He's fun. He's funny. You want to take over and thank God, please? David Newman. It's very hard for me. I'm there every week on Saturday night. Most of the time with one of my kids or two of my kids. And a few of her kids every week every week through a miracle and the grace of God and thank you Hashem I was not I thought at in the, in the middle of the week the kids weren't feeling good there was some flus nobody was in school it was and we were just having a hard time and we decided, my wife, we have to go out just to, a little bit clear the mind. And she asked me to just not go this week because it was a hectic week. And I was just not there. I, obviously my wife comes before anything. And I was not there. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought to myself that I was, I, if I was there, I would be able to do something. And I would definitely try to do something. But 
I wasn't there. Thank you, Hashem. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Yes, and I've, I'm pretty sure you heard the most of it from um, Joseph Gluck. I see him there almost every week. Um, very nice fella. Him and his brother-in-law, they ran away. Um, and he stayed. Um, I'm, I'm sure you heard everything, so I'm, I don't think I have anything to add, but... Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Um, he knows I th I've thanked him a lot. Do you have a memory of your dad that you'd like to share? Uh, <laughs> Every day, I mean, I spoke to him so much. All the time, help him, whatever he needed. I hope he, wa I hope he wakes up soon and can tell you himself of his journey and his life. Because he got a complicated and interesting story for himself, but it's not for me to uh, go in. Have you gone to the All I know is they're not very hopeful, and we don't care about that. We know God is here, and that's the only um, thing that we, we can pray to. But they are my understanding they're not very optimistic at this time sir he's at westchester medical center correct and is he in what they would call intensive care yeah, yeah. Can, can you talk a little about uh, the release of the photo of him and white out so so uh um as a family we felt that it was I mean, this was a very difficult decision to us, but we did release that photo because the hundreds of messages that I personally have received asking, is your father okay yet? Is he awake? How's he doing? P we started realizing people did not understand the severity of this attack. Um, when people ask, is he awake yet? Is he talking to you guys? And all I want to do is yell, do you understand that the prognosis right now is that he really may never ever speak again or wake up or walk or they just don't have hope as a family we do have hope um, so we did decide to release that photo after m much thought so that people can realize how severe this attack was. Any other question? Is your, is your mother still with us? Our mother is alive. Our parents have divorced a long time ago. Um, I would like to thank uh, once again the press, the media, journalists, reporters, everyone for being here. Later this afternoon at 4 o'clock, the town will have an update on the case and security measures. Um, uh, and also, uh, hopefully, there will be a meeting between some family members and elected officials to give an update on what will actually change going forward. And once again, uh, myself, I spent some time of the year criticizing the media, but you guys are here, and it's important. Uh, you are part of the story by, by, by being out here every day and keeping uh, government on its toes to do the right thing. Thank you all very much for being here today. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm co-founder of OJPAC, OJPAC, the Orthodox Jewish Public Affairs Council. Our mission is to fight bigotry and hatred against Orthodox Jews. I just want to uh, relay a message from the family, two points, that they do want to uh, thank the first responders who were there within literally seconds. The response was very strong, multiple agencies. Uh, EMS, law enforcement, and also the other point which the family has uh, stressed to me, um, especially for Moishi is, and, and Nikki, to eradicate all hate. We are members of the Orthodox Jewish community. I am Hasidic. Joseph is Hasidic. The Hasidic community comes in many forms and many colors and, many, and, 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 and hatred, sadly, 
comes in many in many forms, and all of that needs to be uh, needs to be fought, no matter from where it comes, no matter who the target is. Thank you all for coming out. And then, you know,